for John Welch. His much fancied Opel X-Track hardly got off the grid in the final race because of an electrical fault. John won this event two years ago and that wasn't the sort of start he was hoping to make. And the car that caught fire? Well, that was Gary Baker's, his Fiesta bearing the scars. Gary, can you tell us what happened? Because uh, it looked fairly nasty. Well, we're not quite sure yet until we have the boot off and check. We're, we're, we've yet to find out, I'm afraid. It must have been a worrying moment for you, though. Well, I looked in the mirror and just saw, saw a sheet of flame, so, yeah, it was. <laughs> Could you feel the heat up your backside? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> An incident-packed first programme. We hope you'll join us for more Rallycross thrills and spills next week. The first round will certainly be long remembered by Gary Baker and Will Gollop. Thank you, David. And so we start the second round in the series. And again, we start with the Formula A supercars, four-wheel drive machines. And on the second row of the grid this time, you'll see Mark Rennison, our reigning champion, the driver who failed to make the first round. Uh, missing this round, incidentally, is John Welch. No John Welch down there. John's had electrical problems during practice this morning, and so he is a non-starter. But we do have... Will Gollop on the outside of the front row. Will carries our camera for us this time. And there you can see a lovely clear shot of that fast approach into paddock turn. Almost hitting 100 miles an hour by the time they hit that one. And the lights go green. Hopkins, the championship leader, making a good run from the second row of the group. But it's Will Gollop and Mark Rennison. Mark Rennison coming through to take the lead. Mark Rennison leading. Hoppy trying to come through on the inside of Will Gollop. To make one, two, he does that. Will Gollop going down. Tumble downhill in third spot as John Aikenhead's uh, Beetle Turbo surrounds them down at the back end of the field. So the leaders come through, and it's Mark Rennison, Will Gollop taking a tight line, trying to get on the inside of Hobby, can't do it. John Smith and the Jeep of Ashes X track in fourth place, but it's Rennie leading. The Rennie car leading. Trevor Hopkins second, Will Gollop, John Smith, Mike Shield, Demi Mavropoulos, Barry Hathaway, Terry Briggs. That's the order as they go round Druids and away into Langley's Gap. And a big battle going on for second place. Will Gollop trying to squeeze through on the inside of Hopkins, but can't do so. Mike Shield there, Demi Mavropoulos getting a little bit crossed up with the Audi Quattro. Terry Briggs, brand new Mazda. But up front, it's uh, still Mark Rennison there. Mark Rennison as Will Gollop gets a close view of the back of Trevor Hopkins RS200 as they come drifting down the Cooper Strait and you can see Rennie using every inch of the Brands H tarmac as he takes this evolution powered RS200 through to lead the pack out of the chicane and up the top of Paddock Turn for the second time. So it's Mark Rennison leading but Trevor Hopkins right in there with them and uh, the Silk Lean Isles Metro of Will Gollop not that far away. Will cocking his heels over the curb as he goes around Paddock Turn and closing in on the John Smith still holding a good, strong fourth place, but Mark Renison having to work very, very hard to hold off this Kent duo behind him there. Still Will got hard on the heels of Trevor Hopkins. Those three cars haven't broken well clear now at the head of the field, but it's Mark Renison, the reigning Shell Oils TBS champion and, of course, the British national champion leading, but Trevor Hopkins getting close as they come through Langley's Gap to go along the knife edge, still with the... Uh, camera car there of Will Gollop trying to come through, Will Gollop trying to get past and Will Gollop needing the wash wipe system to work here to get the windscreen clear. Miraculously he still knows where to go and that's hard on the heels of Trevor Hopkins as they come off of his drop and drift right across to the apex of the exit of the corner there and go down the Cooper Strait. We can see that still Mike Shield holding fourth place and up now ahead of John Smith but it's still Mark Renison leading for the DSRM camp. Note the number GB1 meaning that he's the reigning British champion and of course our Shell Isles champion as he goes round. Paddock Hopkins still in second place having to work extremely hard to fend off Will Gollop's very determined challenge. Will trying to get alongside under break but couldn't do so. Has to tuck in behind Trevor once again as they come out of the S's for the last time and extend break up Halewood Hill. It's Will Gollop Gollop trying the outside line, but there's no way. Trevor Hopkins closes the door on him. Will gets right on the inside over the rumble strips on the apex of Druids, but still no way. Mike Shield closing in a bit there in fourth place, but it's going to be the northerner, Mark Rennison, coming through to take his first victory in the series. Mark Rennison winning against Toppy, still in second place from Gollop. Mike Shield, a very close fourth. Then comes John Smith in fifth place for the Gina Fashions team, but the winner was indeed Mark Rennison, our reigning champion. Mark Rennison then starts his challenge here as we start round two.